Hello and welcome back to Stotopia here on Raw Slow Gaming. And we're back here at the Volcano Heights. And we got some issues here that we didn't really resolve too much in the last episode. And that is the uh, Q problems and it's this lift. And unfortunately we can't really do much about it. We don't really have anything else to place there. We don't have the ability to upgrade it really so it's 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 just going to be there i guess for now uh, you could i guess put up a gondola somewhere along here i uh, will actually maybe do that directly here or take a look at that because i feel like this is a good place for that and uh, kind of like this peak here quite a lot but i kind of want to build it here which we can't can however however place it here and how high can we get away with not that much something like that uh, what that basically means is well we can't really get to this area but it should alleviate the pressure on this lift a fair bit. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And I guess we're then going to sort of connect uh, a run or two towards this area, but also sort of straight down uh, to cater for our more advanced skiers. So uh, this is, yeah, it's a normal one. So we're uh, varying our runs here a little bit more than in in the first map that we played, Crater Lake. Impossible to build uphill. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're we're not going to come over that uh, that angle really. So everything we start is going to get started this way. Um, so therefore start at least will be a large one uh, we'll sort of follow the terrain here and just are we going to go just like that just straight down is that going to be our main run here uh, I think it is or are we I see something else here that I want to try if we can get impossible to build up in, yeah, you don't need to build uphill. No, 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 no. Like that? No, 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 no. Not uphill. Yes. Uh, so this is going to be our main main starter here. Uh, we're going to try to have it go gentle, as gentle as we can. Make it something like that. Uh, a lot of red really going down here yeah this is actually this is really great this is mainly mainly red for this part it's a little bit of green in the beginning and a little bit of blue but this it's really a lot of red and it's long which is also definitely good but coming off from there you can then definitely pull uh, normal ones or large ones I think we'll still want to pull a large one pretty much straight down but uh, also then some normal to close to this side and uh, overall I really like how that turned out and we'll still try to go in the terrain as much as possible here just because I I think that looks the nicest. I think that the game handles that best, so to say. And uh, now that is really, that is really actually pretty all right, something like that, but um, not much else. So I guess we're going to enter here. Is that fine though? No, not really. Not really what we want to do. Can we enter here? 
without it looking horrible. No, not really. Uh, but I think that makes a lot more sense. Or entering here. Let's try that. Yeah, that uh, flattened that quite all right, actually. Let's uh, add a couple of volunteers there directly. This should be built pretty momentarily. And uh, yeah, how, how do you have uh, wind snow and everything? We actually have quite a lot of snow here in Sweden, uh, in the whole country here, uh, at the beginning or middle of February. And I was up skiing with my with my son, or rather trying to learn to ski for him uh, in uh, in one of our resorts here in Sweden this uh, this weekend uh, or last weekend recording this on uh, Wednesday and it was so fun and so great to see uh, we tried that once last year when he was two and a half now he's three and a half uh, last time around he just uh, really uh, tried to walk with the skis so to say but this time he actually stood and uh, yeah he, he skied himself pretty much uh, a little bit in the end which was very nice sort of finding the balance and everything and enjoying and thinking that it was fun <laughs> albeit uh, when they are that small they just sort of look around but but that's fine uh, but it, yeah it was great fun and so much looking forward in a way to to next year when you know, hopefully we'll go to the mountains so to say that we say here in sweden or to fjellen and uh, stay a week there or so to to practice even more skiing and maybe some cross country too actually got the kind of a cross country craze here in sweden i, I guess at the moment uh, i think the sporting stores have sold like yeah, so far this season they have sold as much as they've done in uh, the three last seasons combined and that's mainly due to that we're having snow pretty much uh, all around the country, I believe. Which is pretty crazy and pretty epic. And uh, also not something that is uh, especially usual at all here in Sweden, really. It's uh, almost always just the, the mountains that have it, or so to say, or yeah higher up in the country, really, so to say. Uh, yeah, that sounded like that. So I peel off there, uh, pretty much as high up as we can go. I don't think we can or would get over this. We will try, though, or have a look. If that would be possible, uh, basically starting from there and uh, there, build uphill. Yeah, I know we don't want to build uphill. Right, we can kind of trick ourselves by that. Yeah. Uh, so we might want to do that, but I think we will uh, use the normal run for that if we're doing that. Um, yeah, we can kind of sneak off like so. And we'll try to get this to be another red run, if if possible. Something like that, and then something like that. All right. Like that. Uh, got to go in between here, I guess. Or can we go high, even higher up? We can possibly. Yeah, we can, but uh, no buts really. It's all good. And red, yes. So you turn out black. You should turn out a red. This is black. So now we have uh, some variants there on how to go. Uh, a larger one, so we should be able to. Well, I guess peel around there too. And then we have this red one, long red one. 
we're having a little bit of trouble here with the homogeneity on all these fronts, I guess. But it's kind of hard. This one is good though. Other than that, it's, it's quite mixed to be honest here. Like half green, half black, and a li little, little bit of red and blue. But uh, that's quite often the case in uh, real runs too. I think that's all right. Happiness, pretty good. New research done. Still have um, some issues with the queue here. For blue skiers, yeah, kind of would need something for the blue skiers. That's blue. We're probably, yeah, low on blue slopes. So, this is overall a red. I can't really make that blue. I can connect bits that would be blue, um, but that would not be the same. So, the blue guys can't really go there. So we need something for uh, Mr. Blue, so to say. And I think this looks like that could be a good fit. If we go somewhere like that. And a little bit more uh, like so. Uh, we could turn this into a blue run, possibly. Uh, but uh, really, not that much. That was too steep too. At least from sort of yeah going beyond <laughs> beyond beyond that. I don't know what wording really, I was using there even so to say. Yeah. Let's uh, let's have a surface lift here. I think that should be all right, actually. And we'll have some blue runs coming from there. And then we can, if we need to or want to, add higher up slopes later. Come on. Right, I guess we'll take you. And I will try to do the same on the other side here. So, the main goal, blue run, blue run, blue run, blue run. Nope, blue. I said blue. Come on. All right. Well, uh, I guess that's going to do. So, that's going to uh, be good for the blue skiers. This is going to get busy, I would think. Uh, we'll add in some uh, some cutoffs here, some variations. Uh, pretty much the same on both sides, but overall I think that looks pretty nice. That's very blue, so I think we'll uh, get a uh, pretty good amount of skiers there. We don't really have blue coming from there. We don't expect blue coming from there either, so that's all right. Uh, we don't, I don't know what we don't, but uh, I think we need probably more groomers and things here. Uh, while we are thinking about uh, placing that in, or while I place that in, uh, do remember to smash that like button if you're enjoying this show, <laughs> enjoying Snowtopia, and uh, yeah. And if you are doing that, Hit that subscribe button too if you haven't done so yet to make sure that you follow us here in our Let's Play series or all the series in Snowtopia. To be honest, we got a lot of series going on in Snowtopia. More is to come. We'll check out every update, every everything around the game and play the game for years to come. Of course, we have other content on the channel too, daily content at 3. So I hope you enjoy your stay. If you want to support the channel even more, check out the links in the description where you can buy Snowtopia, for example, uh, for some extra support to the devs, uh, to the channel and everything. Um, very much appreciated if you have a look there. Um, and that's the end of that ramble. So these are getting in. I think research is pretty much getting done. We have. Uh, 
quite a lot of skiers waiting for assistance again. So we're probably going to build or we're going to need another ski petrol lodge. So we'll build a one of those. Uh, or while we're at it, let's let's build two. Uh, we're pretty much going to run out of uh, volunteers here too, since we're going to need two here and two at uh, both of these guys. So that means we're going to get up to thirty-one out of those thirty-three, which isn't great. We probably need some food somewhere around here too. Or did we place that down? I thought we placed that down last episode. Here in the base. No, we didn't. We, yeah, right. We put that in here up at the top. Because we hadn't really researched anything. So we can have a small shelter here. At least now. Uh, so let's have that smack bang in the middle. Uh, we'll have it like so. So problem with Q, we had two places with Qs, so it holds as both of these ones. But uh, I think the overall flow here is a little bit better at least. And I think the happiness should be pretty good overall. It is. And we're actually having very many skiers here already, I believe, in our resort, especially compared to how long time it took in the Crater Lakes, so to say, to support anyone. And also I think we have a little bit of better overall flow or usage of the runs. Yeah, a little bit, but not super much. Actually, to be honest, uh, of course, this sort of this couple of uh, main runs is heavily used. That's uh, to be expected though, so nothing that surprising about it really, to be honest. Uh, everything is going down there a little bit, which is good. We don't really want the notifications because they are all bad, so to say. So let's actually speed the game up here a little bit, uh, or rather, let's see here. Let's do something we haven't done. No, 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 no. Can I press? All right. I want to press. No, okay, all right. We'll follow this skier here, real time, uh, going up on this uh, this lift, and uh, oh, that's a bug if I've seen one before. But it looks pretty funny, and this dude is like sitting on the other dude's, or this woman rather, <laughs> sitting on the this dude's uh, hand pretty much up her ass, really. Uh, I would say this is not family safe. And kind of floating. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, well, this is the view if you follow a uh, skier up a uh, lift. And this is actually a pretty nice view and pretty interesting. It would be pretty cool with a first person perspective, too. And I guess some people have written or are so in Reddit, at least one user really wanting to control the skier. I guess that would be nifty too. It's not really a feature I'm looking for as such. I would rather have much more tycoon features here in the game and some other tweaks and things. But I guess it would be cool. and I. I really would wish that this was a proper T T bar lift, so to say, which I think it's meant to be instead of having two people running on a bottom lift, so to say. It looks very strange. And, but the animation is decent and everything, to be honest, here for being early access. But uh, yeah, hoping that they work on those things too would be pretty fun if. We had actual staff manning, especially these ones, and helping the steers getting on and kind of seeing the band go back, kind of seeing the, it get pulled up if, as the steers releases instead of just, uh, yeah, like they do here, vanishing when you get to the top and entering the 
runs. It would be nice to see the proper animation and proper release and enter on the lifts. But uh, who knows? We'll see what we'll get. I, I, I don't know if the devs know themselves actually the total plan, so to say, what they are going with the game or what direction they are going to go with the game in terms of content and features and development, so to say. So where does this skier go? Right, so yeah, everyone seems to be taking this inner slope rather than uh, a sort of, uh, let's say, main slope. Happiness 77% in average, which is nice. Uh, why are you going there though, skiers? Advanced skiers shouldn't really go there. Do we have, yeah, we have full here, so probably need something more here at the base. We have some reach search on here, so let's uh, let's have the tea, tea room here too. Uh, we'll place that, nope, we'll place that uh, like uh, that then. And we'll add in some research. I think this should be open. Yep, it is. So we'll research that and we'll work towards the other lifts here. So that is one. The other is the gear reducer working towards this. So we're going to go pretty much the same path as last time, work towards getting those uh, lifts in or getting all the lifts in, so to say. And after that, work on the upgrades and everything. 34, this is obviously full, that's pretty full, and this is obviously full. So, working pretty nice. And uh, yeah, do like the look already uh, from this village uh, and the start here on this map. This looks kind of a little bit more busy and a little bit more natural than how it looked in Crater Lake, to be honest. And I kind of like the feel of skiing in uh, multiple directions and in uh, different levels in, in a little bit of another way than on that map. We'll probably have a little bit of trouble going up higher with uh, a large gondola or a large lift up to here. But uh, that's not necessarily what we want to do. Uh, you could do something like uh, this and connect from there. But overall, I feel like you really want to sort of zone the areas at the moment. Kind of want this, like this is the blue zone. This is the green zone. We have a little bit added in there. But it's not much, so this is really the green zone. And then we have the red and black zone, which is uh, all up here. Uh, they have a little bit going here with this combined, but mainly this one. And uh, blue zone have a little bit from there too. So really, what we're low on, and uh, low variation, I guess, is, uh, is the green zone. And I guess the blacks could be a little bit more varied, so adding in one more variation here would not hurt. And I think that's probably the last thing we'll do here in this episode. And to get in a little bit more variation. So, the question is, how are we going to do that? Uh, the reasoning behind this were to go in from other sides to connect here. Is that the main point we want to do, or do we want to do a wide run here too? Uh, not like that. We'll go normal if we do. We'll have a look on how that would would look. So that would mean something like that, and then build up, which is not that nice looking. And then just basically go like that. But I think that's all right overall, actually. And I think we will go off 
Mm. Go off something like this. Like so. And I think we'll have a connection, a narrow connection, uh, even. Like this. Um, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, I think I want uh, a larger run running the wood chair too, though. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this will obviously go two ways too. Uh, so I'm going to take that that way to see if we can't get that to be red, but we can't. I see that directly. And uh, we'll have another one going here. And that is going to go very, very steep. And uh, will we have pin off from there too? Good, that makes sense. Now we'll leave that area as it is for a little bit of a more freestyle area. Or at least that is what it is in my mind here at the, the lower ground, so to say. From us with Q here, yeah, we can't really do much about it. I wish I could, but I can't. So both of these are still, yeah, it's not unlocked anything more here. But I think, I think we're about done here for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time here in Snowtopia at uh, Volcano Heights. Bye-bye. You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right or latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.